Hey friends, Cloudbart here. Time for another one minute identity and access management lesson. Now previously, you've probably heard me talk about a variety of ways in which we can grant privileges within AWS. The two big common schemes that we use had to do with identity or resource-based privileges. And of course, the real trick is whether or not we're attaching the policy to the identity or whether we're attaching the policy directly to the resources themselves. And of course, this is a fairly generic concept of resources. Here I've shown roles or an S3 bucket, but there's a variety of other resources that this works with as well. The key thing is that we have something to attach the policy to. <laughs> now this gets a little awkward when we start thinking about granting privileges to an entire AWS account, because I can't very well attach a policy directly to the account itself. Instead, we have to use special types of uh, syntax within the IAM policies to perform this. So let's check this out and we'll get going. Over here in my text editor, I've got two sample statements that came out of a little security policy which would grant privileges to use a particular IAM role. Now, since it's resource-based privileges, you'll notice right away that there is a principal field that's being used to identify the quote unquote who part of this particular scenario. In our example, I wanted to grant them to a specific account. So when we're using resource policies like this to grant access to an account, they have to follow this syntax. You have two options. You can use the ARN structure and then actually grant privilege to the root user. Notice that they've put root in here. This is very important. You can't use wildcards. So putting an asterisk like this, that would not be a valid statement. Instead, you can use root or you can shorten that syntax down as I have in the second example here where they're just referencing the account number itself. Now to see these policies in action, a simple way to do it, we to jump over to the management console, go to IAM and create a new role. Under the trusted entity area, you could choose another AWS account and then simply provide the account number for the account that you want to grant access to use this particular role. Cruise on over to permissions and then give it some permissions there as well. Uh, and to kind of shortcut this, I've already finished this up by creating a sample policy. And if you cruise on down and look at the trust relationship part of it here, you can see that they've used exactly that syntax that we were talking about, where it's ARN structure, and then they've used root at the end. So just to kind of recap here, if you need to grant privileges to an entire AWS account, we have to follow specific syntax rules in the way we define it in that principal portion of a given security statement. Remember that you can define the full ARN with the root user to qualify the account or shrink it down to just be the account number. Watch out for using wildcards because those are gonna invalidate those policies when they go to check them. Keep in mind, friends, we can use these across resources all throughout the AWS world, and it certainly gives us a powerful security option. See you next time.